at the time that I'm going to be in Chicago, yes. what what's the weather going to be when I'm driving through that location? I found long... I found two yeah. options, and I am driving to Chicago next weekend, so I'll test this, and then, well, then I'll be driving to Michigan. So I'll have a lot of options for this. So I got two apps. I got I got Drive Weather, and I got On the Way. Okay, and the on the way, there's several apps there named this, so be careful with this. Um, so uh, if I could pop over here, so I got this drive weather app, and let's say, let's see, what's my destination? Let's call it Chicago for now. Um, they're not terribly clean or anything like that, but you know, works out pretty well. So your starting location, these are free. Um, let's see, get drive weather. They're free, and and you know, at the bottom it says upgrade for a seven day outlook. So I can be like, okay, what what is it going to look like when I go out there? Wait for this to load for a second. You pick your route. So hopefully you've looked in Google Maps or why ways and already know where you're going. And you go in here. It'll load it up. It'll load it up. Sorry, I'm on my iPad, so it's a little slower. Oh, if this loads, it'll give you icons along the way of like snow or mm. not snow or anything like that. Let me try the other one. Now the other one is on the way and it's the same thing. Let's go to, let's go to Chicago. Let's, let's just say Chick-fil-A. No, Chicago. <laughs> um, again, it'll fill that in. You'll select your route and you see here it's showing your weather and any kind of uh, winter storm warnings or anything like that that's along the way here. And it's telling you what time you should be getting there. So it's, it's 8.02 now and showing that our weather here is 38 degrees. By the time I get to, let's say, South Bend, Indiana on the way to Chicago, it's going to be 108 a.m., 33 degrees, and you see it's going to be you got it looks like snow showers and, and your storm warning will kick in from there. So this is informative. I'm going to be using it in my upcoming travels. Um, I'm going to try to comparatively use both of these apps and and see how well they do. Because the biggest thing is, you know, I really, oh, that's why, because I, I, I pushed this too far out. Um, but yeah, <laughs> and you see as you move the, and there's, I think there's a similar function in the other app, as you move the times here, it's only given the next day, You'll see there's the snow, there's rain, which is probably ice. ice. Oh, wait, no, there's there's icicles here. So I'm, I'm guessing this is freezing rain on the right going on there. Mm -hmm. And you have some other options through here. But again, you know, what was the temperature? Um, what are things going to look like? But again, you're going to have to upgrade. Um, both of these, I think, are $10 a year if you want to upgrade them. Not too bad if that's a good function. I mean, if it means, hey, leave at, you know, we, we ran into snow coming from South Bend um, last weekend. And if we looked at it and had this app and no, no, like, hey, leave at 6 a.m. instead of 10, you'll miss most of the snow. That would have saved us so much, right? So much of, of hassle when we're coming through, like, later in the trip, because all you know is what's happening then. And, you know, you, you know and I'm trying to, like, okay, what's the weather in Cleveland? What's the weather in this, in Toledo, you know, to help parse what's going on along the way but this this seems like a good visual thing does this seem like the app you were talking about I, I think it was the first i think it was the the one that you showed in the middle was the one they were using and because so did you see how it gave you multiple different trip yes mm -hmm. ways to take your trip i'd be interested because i think that's what he was using because they could then compare like Hey, um, it's only going to be ten minutes longer to go this way, and I'll have no weather. Right, exactly, exactly. Like, hey, th th this way is an extra hour, but there's no snow, you know, or something like that. Which, so, which I mean, snow could impact you for over an hour. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, I mean, just look at what happened. Like, I, you know, on our way back, we kept running into. Um, we ran into, there was no weather happening on the side of the, the road, but there was just for about a mile, there were just randomly cars that had been, uh, uh, fender bendered, rucked, wrecked, spun off the road. Several were, were trucks, uh, were, were, uh, semi trucks. Like it was just a big, just, just like death mile it seemed like everybody seemed fine everybody's walking around it didn't seem like it was bad bad but still like it just seemed like what happened here and those are the kinds of things you would also avoid by avoiding that weather because i don't know how many teams, times in my travels over the last six months i've seen just shut down roads and thankfully not got you know what semi across the highway and you're just going to have to sit there for a while until that gets taken care of you know so why well, I, I heck i had that happen in 
in Green Tree in Pittsburgh. Yeah, where that too. There was a there was a freak snow that blew through, and the the hill at the very end of Green Tree Road, the the hill where I think there's like a Marshalls and an NTB, it, it drops you off at that giant is a giant eagle. I mean, I, I had to I had to pull over because I couldn't. I was sliding down the hill. I couldn't turn around because I wouldn't have made it back up the hill. I mm. was halfway in between up and down. I just pulled over, gave up, and said, I'm waiting for a salt truck to drive by. It was a good 45 <laughs> minutes to an hour. Right, right, and right. Be- before, before I got through, before they came and before I could get moving again. But it's definitely worth it. Uh, I will say the... Um... One of these apps, I can't remember which one. Uh, so the dri- the the drive weather one looks like it's by like a, at least an LLC. Um, the on the way app has a, it, it's just like a guy's name as the developer, so that gives me a little bit of pause. But it still looks like the cleaner app of the two. So I I, I don't know. Again, I want to look at both of them. Whichever one I think uh, is more effective over the next month is going to get my ten bucks for the year. Or maybe I just both of them and I'll just keep swapping them and comparative kind of compare shopping of like, okay, this one says this weather's here, you know, what looks like the best cleanest thing between the two of them, right? 